It's my last couple of days at Dippery Lodge in remote Arnhem Land, and I wonder what more this amazing fishing paradise can possibly serve up to me. Will it be more of their iconic barramundi? The answer is yes, plus plenty more that's anything but barra. I go tropical fly fishing and score a pair of flathead. Flathead number two! We catch a smorgasbord of species from cod to golden snapper to blue salmon. And I get to argue with a feisty GT. <laughs> Daybreak on my second last day at Dippery Lodge. I'm rigging up early in anticipation of a very big day ahead. We couldn't launch our boat into a better sea and sky than this. The day is an absolute gift from nature for Chris Erity, our guide Darren and me. And the sight of fish swarming on the flats as thick as blowflies on a drover's shirt just seems to prove it. I can feel a great day coming on. <laughs> Good looking fish in this clean water. Wow. That's what we're after. Up on the flats. You can see the bomber. Beautiful lure. These are super shallow lures. They only go down to a probably a metre at best, and that's exactly what you need when you're fishing over these little, little islands. Ooh, yep, yep, key there. Yep. It's a stay in the shade. <laughs> For the size. Yeah, for the size, oh, they, they are really pulling hard. Yeah. Staying close within casting range of all this structure is critical to successful fishing here. And for us, that's no problem, because we've got the benefit of our Minn Kota Spotlock GPS system to hold the boat steadily in place with one touch of a button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come back here and we'll let you go. You're on the wrong side. There you are. <laughs> He's got <laughs> his quarter, actually. Thanks to our Camzilla aerial camera platform, you can see how clear the water is and how exciting that makes the fishing. Fishing's red hot like this. If we get out the fly rod, I've got this beautiful Remington nine weight. It's a bit of a fly fisher's paradise up here because there are so many fish to catch up here. And that's what I'm using, one of the Felties flies. And they are incredibly good. This one here is called the Thing size 2 hook. Fly casting is a lot more work, and I'm finding with a lower strike rate than the standard technique that Chris and Darren have decided to stick with. But as you'll see, it's more about quality than quantity. Is that an island there? Eh? Yep. Okay. Like 
twins. <laughs> well done, boys. Yeah. There's the quantity. Good fun, eh? Off the gutters, from the gutters. A little snake throwing there. And soon, you'll see the quality coming up. Target species. <laughs> a flathead is an amazing catch in these waters and an outstanding catch on oh, fly. Yeah. So what do I get next? Down deep could be a flathead number two. On fire. Am I daydreaming? I thought I was in the territory. A little bit bigger we bring him home for a feed. It's not too bad. Wow. Good old dusky flathead. Good old mate from down Sydney. Can you pass those pliers? What I'm really dreaming of is a barramundi on fly. Tide's starting to pick up, boys, yeah. And that's worth a lot more work at my casting. Oh, oh, there you go. Awesome. On. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. This couldn't go past the thing, the pink thing. Beautiful, hey? Barramundi on fly. And I'm sure there's plenty of keen fly fishers back home who would just absolutely love to do this. A little bit different than uh, trout. <laughs> Got to upscale, so from four and five weight rods to nine and ten weight rods. Okay, there we go, mate. Good stuff. Might even get a little pick with that. That's a healthy little fish. I mean, there's bigger ones. You never know what you're going to catch. You can see the fly straight down the mouth, the pink thing. And for all you keen fly fishers at home, there are tons of opportunities up here for you to come and hook into these guys on fly, which is amazing. And this is only a little bloke. There's big metre plus fish available here all year round. Drink spewing back in. After my flathead on fly from this remote Arnhem Land River, Chris and I are wondering what other species these waters are likely to throw up at us. <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah, nice fish. Oh, you threw whatever that was. Flying through the air. But our guide Darren knows this is mostly barra country and he knows how to catch them. I switch back out of fly mode and we settle down for what we hope is another great session. Yeah, Gary's there. Cod is. I'm using a little flats rat. Rat's lure at the minute. I'll just lift him over real quick. It's definitely getting down to the bottom levels of the water where these guys love to live. The beautiful fish they are. You can see that real cod head. There he goes. Beautiful. You never know what you're going to catch up here in these creeks. Fish. Oh yeah. Oh, 
gold is big around this. Yeah, right? Ten foot. You wouldn't dream about doing this sort of fishing back home, back in Sydney, and eight and a half feet. It's that depth, depth of water and fishing straight up and down. And look at that, <laughs> hooked up. That's just amazing. Yeah, get your drum. net, get your net. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Straight up and down, underneath the boat, eight foot of water. And that's what you end up with. Well, there we go, beautiful golden snapper. Or uh, finger mark brim up in Queensland. And they are magnificent eating fish. That's three different species apart from the barra. Will there be any more to add to our collection? They look like salmon or something. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Just here. Yep. Oh. Blue, bluey. Right, bad. Right, let's have a moment then. Let's have a look at him. Nice fish, they've got that glaze over their eye, haven't they? And no real teeth, are they? They're just very fine, very fine teeth going back in. And these guys are true predators, they just hunt right across these mud flats, don't they? Back home in New South Wales, I'm out for the one on one action of kayak fishing. And the camera crew in my Quintrex cruiseabout are on for some fishing of their own. A nice flathead. We just found a nice big hole on this bend and it goes from just a few metres up the end and it drops away down to eight and a half metres and right on that edge that's where this guy was sitting and I reckon there's a lot more with it as well. It's a, uh, a beautiful stretch, pretty narrow here so the hole sort of extends all the way across and pretty much all the river looks looks all the same. You've got some sandbars that you can see yourself uh, with the polarised lenses on, but uh, it's just fantastic to have a nice unit on board like this Garmin. It's the, uh, the Echo Map, it's the 75 SV, and it really is fantastic. I've got a split screen at the moment. I've got the down view on one and the normal view on the other side, and it just gives you such a better chance to catch some fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. Landed one nice fish, but that's a beauty. Well done. Good fish. If you've ever wet a line along the coast or in the estuaries of Victoria, New South Wales or Queensland, you've probably come face to face with this critter. It's the legendary lizard of many a fishing tail, the dusky flathead. This supreme ambush predator is found along Australia's east coast between the area around Cairns in the north and Wilson's Promontory in the south. It lives to more than 16 years as a breeding female and can grow as long as 1.2 metres. Males only make it to about 11 years and not much more than half the length, around 62 centimetres. Dusky flathead are mostly caught commercially in Queensland inshore waters, in New South Wales estuaries and in Victoria's Gippsland Lakes. The nominal catch rate in Queensland has been stable since 1993, with evidence suggesting that the biomass of this stock is unlikely to become recruitment overfished. Medium commercial catch rates in New South Wales are also relatively steady. Numbers of fish landed in 2013 were actually lower than the long-term historic average. 
The most recent survey in Victoria showed that while commercial and recreational catch rates are highly variable, there is no evidence of a long-term decline in the biomass. The dusky flathead is classified as sustainable stock in all three jurisdictions. While the recreational catch for Victoria is unknown, recreational catches far outweigh the commercial harvest in New South Wales and Queensland. 149 tonnes for Queensland anglers against just 51 tonnes for the professionals. And in New South Wales, where just 93 tonne of duskies are caught commercially each year. The most recent known recreational catch was 886 tonne, and that was 15 years ago. So it's obvious that the great bulk of dusky flathead fillets eaten in Australia were brought home by the family fisho. For the best way to cook your flathead fillets and information on their nutritional value, go to fishfiles.com.au. Australia's fisheries are among the best managed in the world. However, we can't rest on our laurels and past performance. Fish stocks are constantly changing and require ongoing monitoring. You can keep up with the current facts in the national status of key Australian fish stocks reports anytime you wish, just by clicking on fish.gov.au. Check it out now and see how FRDC is all about fishing for our future. For my last session out of Dippery Lodge, we're going Welcome offshore. Yep. Excellent. Nice he hasn't stopped. I'm hooked up to something. I'm not quite sure what it is, either a Queenie or a GT. A lot of weight down there, and God, he took some, some line. All right, we've got this beautiful little Shimano outfit. Technium. Wait there, boys. Down with him. GT, I reckon. Well, that's quite yeah, it could be a GT. I think it's gone past uh, a Queenie. <laughs> it's only light gear. Well, semi light gear, 30 pound braid. So, got one of these PE strength uh, anarchy rods made by Ian Miller, who's been producing rods for Shimano for many years now. now I've got the drag just set just strong enough, I don't want to break him off. And as you can see, the solid bend in the rod. It's a world record, Queenie. He'd already be in the boat by now. He's <laughs> right, about water now. Let's get up that a little bit. Okay, let's have a look. Come on, mate. We just want to have a look at you. ET or GT? No, oh, he's only a little bloke. Yeah, just a little fella. Big enough, though. <laughs> Big enough. Away he goes. And that's a great way for me to say goodbye to the rivers and waters around Dippery Lodge. We travelled from Darwin across to Millingimby in Arnhem Land with Air North. If you're travelling across the top end, whether it's Broome, Darwin, all the way across to Cairns, make sure you book with Air North. They're the only company you want to travel with. We've had a great time here at Dippery Lodge in Arnhem Land. Plenty of fish and loads of action. I hope you enjoyed the show too. I look forward to escaping with you summer on the water next week. See you then. Ah, that's crap. You have to do it again. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed my fishing video. If you did, make sure you like it and comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video.